Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we will be making a classic granny square. Here's what you'll need. Abbreviations for US and UK terms can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. First step is to create a ring. So we're going to chain four or you can chain six. Insert hook into first chain stitch and join with a slip stitch to make a ring. For round one, all the stitches will be worked into the center of the ring. Chain three, this counts as your first double crochet, which is a treble in the UK, and work over the tail. Work two double crochets into the center of the ring. US and UK terminology are in the description box below. Please pause the video at any time if you need to catch up. Chain two and this creates our first corner in this round. Work three double crochets, that's a treble in the UK, into the center of the ring and chain two. Here we're going to work three double crochets into the centre of the ring, then a chain two and we're going to repeat this twice. So if we have a look at our granny square, you'll see that it is now shaping up to be a square with the corners. Here we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the chain three and then we're going to turn our work. So just count up your chains and insert your hook on top of the chain three right there. If you'd like to change the colour of your yarn, please pause the video and if you would like to just work your granny square all facing one way, that is up to you. Just turning your work would then make your granny square reversible and it is ideal for blankets. You can pull on your tail to close up the gap in the middle if it is too big. Okay, so on to round two, chain three. This counts as your first double crochet. Remember that is a treble in the UK. You can use a stitch marker to mark the top of your chain three. Work two double crochets into the corner space. Remember this chain three counts as a stitch, so you're working a double crochet twice into this space and then chain two going into the same chain two space work another three double crochets this creates our first corner for this round So 
so from here we're going to chain one move over to the next chain two space and we're going to work three double crochet chain two and then three double crochet all into that chain two space this creates our second corner so it's chain one and then moving over to our next chain two space we're going to work three double crochet chain two three double crochet into that chain two space and we're going to do that again for the last time to make our fourth corner Join with a slip stitch into the top of the chain three and turn your work. You can change the colour of your yarn here. On to round three, chain three, this counts as your first double crochet, work two double crochets into the first chain space and chain one. I'm going to create another corner into this chain two space so you're going to work three double crochets chain two and three double crochets all into that chain two space That creates your first corner for round three. Chain one and work three double crochets into the next chain space. Then we're going to work another corner into the next chain two space and then working your three double crochets into the middles of the chain one and then back to the corner so we're just going to be doing that all the way around until we reach the end so here I've created my second corner and then I'm going to work into the middle spaces with my chain one three double crochets and chain one and then move on to the corner three double crochet chain two and three double crochet we have created our third corner and going to work our final corner to finish the round so that's our round finished and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the chain three turn your work if you are working around four or you can just simply carry on making your granny square bigger if you are making a blanket and there you go that's your granny square made and i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you've got any questions please leave them in the comment section below so like i said you can just carry on going round making this bigger and bigger if you are working a big granny square blanket so give it a go it's a really quick stitch to work up 
and it does look really pretty at the end. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.